I'm Robin, English teacher for Core Languages, and today I am walking around beautiful Waterfront Park in Charleston, South Carolina. Behind me, you can see the Arthur Ravenel Bridge. It is one of the places people visit when they come to Charleston. Let me ask you a question. Where do you live? And are there places in your city that people should visit or should see? Or is there a place that you would like to travel to that has places that you must see? For example, you could say, I want to visit New York. And when I go to New York, I must see Central Park or I need to see the Statue of Liberty. When we use words like need and should and must, we are using what is called modal verbs. Modal verbs not only change the conjugation in the sentence, they also change the word order and the tone. For example, I could say, you need to go or you must go, or you should go. These three sentences all have a slightly different tone. In today's video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the basic modal verbs of the English language, so you understand not only how to use them, but when to use them. So the next time someone asks you, what should I do? You can formulate the perfect English sentence. Modal verbs. Modal verbs come before a main verb, and we use them to modify the purpose or tone of a sentence. Here are examples of modal verbs in the English language. Must, have to, need to, can, should, shall, ought to, could, might, may, will, would. Notice that have to and need to are read. They could be considered half modal verbs. We can also use them as full verbs and they follow slightly different conjugation patterns. In today's lesson, we will focus on four modal verbs, must, can, should, and may. There are three main rules when using modal verbs. When using a modal verb, we need to remember that all forms are identical and no ending is added. For example, I must, you must, she must. It is important to note that it is not she musts. No S is added in the third person. Modals are followed by the base form of another verb. For example, he can do it. It is incorrect to say he can does it or he can to do it. In order to form a negative sentence with a modal verb, we simply add not, and we do not need to use to do. For example, you may not borrow my car. It would be incorrect to say, you do not may. When using a modal verb in a sentence, we have to pay attention to the word order. Let's look at the word order using the modal verb must. Must is used to express strong obligation. Must not is used to express when we are not allowed to do something. The word order is subject, modal verb, main verb, and the rest of the sentence. For example, I must go home now. I is the subject, 
must is the modal verb, go is the main verb, and home now is the rest of the sentence. This sentence expresses a strong obligation. We must not feed wild animals. This sentence is used to express that we are not allowed to do something. In this case, we are not allowed to feed wild animals. Notice how not is placed immediately after the modal verb. Let's look at examples of sentences that use the modal verb can or cannot. Can is used to express the ability or the permission to do something, and cannot is used to express the inability or when we are not allowed to do something. The word order is the same. For example, I can ride a bike. This sentence expresses the ability. You can borrow my bike. This sentence expresses the permission. You cannot park there. This sentence expresses the inability or that you are not allowed to park there. Notice how not is attached immediately behind can to form one word. You cannot park there. Here are examples of sentences that use the modal verb should. Should is used to express an obligation, to give advice, or to express when you are expected to do something. The word order is the same. For example, we should study for the test. You should exercise regularly. Both sentences are a form of advice. The modal verb may is used to express the possibility or the permission to do something. The word order is the same. For example, may I ask you something? Or you may borrow my car. Both sentences express the permission to do something. I may get a new phone. This sentence expresses the possibility of getting a new phone. May can also be used to express the possibility for something to happen in the future. For example, I may get a new phone might refer to something that happens in the future. I may get a new phone next Thursday. Let's read the following sentences and try to identify if they are correct or incorrect. For example, he must not go to work sick. Do you think the sentence is correct or incorrect? The sentence is correct. How about the next sentence? She can fix the problem. The sentence is incorrect. The modal verb can does not add an S for the third person. The correct sentence would be, she can fix the problem. How about the next sentence? She cannot focus now. Do you think the sentence is correct or incorrect? Excellent, the sentence is correct. May I ask a question? Is this question correct or incorrect? Very good. It is correct. How about this sentence? She must to study. 
This sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence would be, she must study. And how about this sentence? They should take not too much time. Is this sentence correct or incorrect? Excellent. The sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence would be, they should not take too much time. The word not is placed immediately after the modal verb. Look at this picture and try to choose the correct modal verb. He can ride a bike or he cans ride a bike. Excellent, he can ride a bike. We do not add an S for he, she, it when using a modal verb. Now try to negate the sentence. Excellent, he cannot ride a bike. Notice how not is attached directly to the modal verb can to form one word. He cannot ride a bike. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of when and how to use modal verbs and how they change a sentence. As always, if you have more questions, feel free to comment. Or if you are interested in joining one of our courses with a live instructor, feel free to message us directly. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.